Hey there, Sharon Hornelson here. Welcome to Supersize Your Business. Today we are talking about the art of supersizing, of course, because that's what we do, grow and scale your service-based business. I'm going to share five ways that you can go about doing that. I guarantee I've talked about these before and we'll continue to talk about them because the tried and true strategies and systems and methods of doing something to grow and build a business have been around for a long, long time, probably as long as people have been doing business. We dress them up with fancy names and add a lot of complicated uh, information to them. We twist them and we turn them and we call them different things. But bottom line, almost everything we want to do in life, as well as in our business, can be broken down into three to five simple steps. And I think the older I get, the more I value simplification and being able to communicate things in a simple, clear, concise way. So we'll see if I can do that today. Number one, uh, what is one of the things that we need to keep in mind, remember, as we're scaling our service-based or any other type of business? We want to embrace innovation. Why? Because it's the key to growth and sustainability. <clears throat> being innovative, being creative, looking for solutions that everybody else doesn't have is a way to differentiate yourself among the people that you're here to serve, as well as uh, to find ways to optimize your processes, streamline your processes, reduce your costs, and be able to serve the people that you're here to serve better and give them a, a better, more enhanced customer experience. Number two, we want to go ahead and leverage technology. Technology is a way of, of embracing innovation, right? Uh, there are so many systems available now to automate parts of our processes and our systems. Anything we do repeatedly, we ought to find a way to automate that. That is, of course, my own personal philosophy, but it's served me very well throughout my career and my business ownership. Um, whether it's a customer re uh, relationship management system or data analytics, all of it can be used to help us to run our business better and to make growing it simpler, faster, and easier. We can optimize processes. We can optimize our utilization of resources. We can make sure we have the right people in the right place doing the right things at the right time to serve the right customers. Boy, that was a lot of rights. Three, we want to nurture strategic partnerships to amplify our reach and our impact. Talked about strategic partnerships. We've talked about collaborations. We've talked about uh, joining forces with other people in, I guess, complementary industries. A lot of times we won't team up with people in our own industry because we feel like we're competing for the same clients, the same customers, the same people. But it's always good to team up with complementary industries or complementary businesses because they can help us to serve a segment of our market or our entire market better. And they can also help us to reach that organization's market with the products and services, we're talking about services today, that are best for them. Uh, fourth, we want to create a culture of excellence. Uh, I, I think this one should go without saying, but it definitely needs to be said nowadays. Uh, we want to make sure that we are empowering and training our employees, that we are being transparent, that we are creating a knowledge and learning environment and learning culture that helps everyone to grow and be able to serve our folks better, both internally and externally. I like to think of inside the organization, everybody has customers and everyone is a customer to someone else in the organization, including the CEO and the founders. They are here to serve the rest of the organization, believe it or not. And then finally, fifth, we want to embrace change as a pathway to sustainability and growth. Why? Because the one thing we can count on in life and in business is change, right? Change is inevitable, so we might as well have plans in place for it to handle it properly and to the best of our ability. So what are some examples of service-based businesses that are doing these things extremely well. Well, how about Amazon? Amazon is a behemoth of uh, commerce now, and they've gone from the uh, uh, selling other people, selling stuff on their line. Think from a simple bookseller, right? An online bookseller. They totally annihilated the book selling and the publishing industry, as well as now they're getting into everything. If you've traveled around the country at all, you will see Amazon warehouses, giant Amazon warehouses popping up everywhere uh, between Hudson, where I live in Wisconsin, and St. Paul, Minnesota. I think there's five or six big warehouses going up. And I'm not talking big. I'm talking gigantic warehouses going up. And a couple of them are already with Amazon logos on them. And uh, traveling across the country with my sister, I've seen it in dozens of cities. 
And so Amazon has shown us that being a service company means massive scalability. And they are, they're, I think they are the premier example of scalability right now. Uh, Netflix redefined the entertainment industry, right? Remember before Netflix? I remember before Netflix. We used to have to buy, first it was VHS tapes, <clears throat> right? It was beta and, and whatever. But now, then it became CDs and literally had hundreds and hundreds of both for my kids because that was when my kids were growing up. And now everybody just streams everything online, a lot in part due to the uh, way Netflix knocked bluff, block, bluff, block, <laughs> blockbuster out of the, out of the industry. <clears throat> and then finally, Airbnb, of course, they've revolutionized the hospitality industry and how people plan and manage their own trips and their own stays. Had a huge impact on the hotel, motel, lodging, hospitality segment of the of the business world and businesses. And those are all service businesses, right? You know, where am I going to lay my head tonight? So love to know your experience. What do you think has been the art of helping you to scale and grow and supersize your service-based business? or your business as a whole, because that's what this group is all about, helping one another to grow and supersize our businesses. Have an awesome day. If I can help you in any way, ask. Otherwise, I'll be with you tomorrow.